Before we get started, please support our sponsor, GoldSilver.com. That's GoldSilver.com. Get your low-cost bullion discreetly delivered to your door or to your private non-bank vault storage account at Brinks. Exclusive free shipping for AMTV customers through the end of June. Use AMTV promo code AMTVFREEUSA on any size domestic order. Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Tuesday, May 13, 2014. And in Glenn Greenwald's new book, No Place to Hide, Edward Snowden, the NSA, and the U.S. Surveillance State, I find a few interesting points, uh, things I wanted to discuss with you, things that some of which don't make sense. In the book, Glenn Greenwald says that Edward Snowden, who arguably leaked the most damning evidence of state surveillance and spying in the history of the world, not just America, in excerpts of the book says that Snowden, who, by the way, has been part of an international manhunt uh, ever since the leak and literally was the most wanted man alive. Uh, people wanted him dead. In fact, officials were even calling uh, for his assassination. Uh, slept like a baby every single night uh, that they were interviewing him and putting together the pieces in the short film many of you saw on YouTube, according to Glenn Greenwald. Am I the only one that finds that a little bit strange? that Edward Snowden slept like a baby while he was being manhunted by the United States and pretty much every other surveillance organization uh, and interest in the world. A uh, little bit of an anomaly. Uh, Glenn Greenwald, of course, uh, with his new book, uh, talks uh, excessively about the explosive day we revealed Edward Snowden's identity to the world. Uh, and in the hours after his name became known, uh, details uh, really just the media mayhem uh, and the general fear uh, that this leak uh, would reveal uh, to the rest of the world. Uh, again, arguably the greatest security leak uh, proving uh, the U.S. surveillance state in the history of not just America, uh, but the world. But I found it very interesting that Glenn Greenwald, an acclaimed journalist, uh, noted and pointed out specifically that Edward Snowden slept like a baby every night leading up to his eventual uh, extradition and him seeking asylum overseas. Now, of course, Edward Snowden, uh, who had somehow been easily uh, sidetracked and uh, moved out of the hotel he was staying in in Hong Kong without a single uh, representative or uh, media uh, personality or uh, agent finding, seeing him at all uh, on his way uh, to seek asylum uh, in Central America, somehow stopped in Russia. Uh, again, uh, this a, another major hole in the story, for me at least, uh, where Edward Snowden allegedly spent 40 days in the confines of Sherman Teveo Airport. 40 days without being recognized, allegedly changing his appearance so not a single agent or media outlet in the world, again, the most hunted man at the time uh, couldn't be found. Uh, again, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense that anyone could just disappear in an airport for 40 days. Either the Russian government stopped him and Vladimir Putin stopped him and said, look, you're not getting through uh, to Central America or wherever, wherever you're going. We're going to stop you and use you as an asset of the Russian state and the Russian Federation or Edward Snowden perhaps was in on the deal the entire time. Maybe why he was sleeping like a baby uh, in the moments, in minutes, uh, leading up to the now infamous Glenn Greenwald leak. What's also notable about this new book is that Greenwald uh, explicitly reveals uh, that the NSA plants back doors in foreign bound routers. Uh, and not only that, that the NSA allegedly intercepts shipments of servers to install spying backdoors overseas. Now, of course, this isn't just done overseas. It's also done in the United States of America. So, for example, if you're of interest of the CIA, uh, the FBI and the intelligence agencies, uh, the National Spying Agency here in the United States, and you order, say, a router online 
or you order a server or a laptop, we've also seen stories like this, they'll intercept the package, wire it, hijack it, um, and change its contents so that they can spy on you at your home. Uh, it, obviously, they can do this already because your cell phones and smartphones or iPads and iPods are already prepackaged with the surveillance software and technology they, they need, but they also take it a step further by planning back doors in these foreign bound routers, something that the US government has been accusing Chinese companies of for years, telling Americans and American companies not to buy the routers, but really in reality has been doing the exact same thing. You see how the United States doesn't like competition. Not only do they not like business competition uh, internationally, they don't like uh, surveillance competition. So this is a very big leak and a very big story in and of itself, Greenwald exposing that the NSA plants back doors in foreign-bound routers uh, and also intercepts shipments of servers to install spying back doors. Again, we've seen this with uh, other devices like laptops uh, and your standard computers, iPads and iPods, etc., uh, taking this one step further in the international U.S.-led uh, surveillance state. Uh, again, an interesting new book. Uh, I, for one, when I get the time, uh, will be reading it. I'd like to hear uh, from the inside, coming from the horse's mouth, uh, so to speak, uh, the details leading up to the leak. But again, this doesn't really smell right. Um, not to say that Edward Snowden isn't a legitimate leaker, a legitimate truther who had a conscience and wanted to get out the truth to the American people and expose the lying, traitorous, treasonous government that makes up the U.S. administration and our intelligence agencies today. But a few key points don't add up uh, in this uh, transition from uh, international most wanted man here, a picture of Edward Snowden, to a 40-day layover undetected in Sherman Tavao Airport. And again, I pointed this out at the time when it actually happened. It made no sense at all. Uh, no one just disappears in a Russian airport for 40 days without a single media representative person or agent, by the way, that had orders more than likely from the U.S. government and others to assassinate uh, Snowden openly, just disappears in disguise for 40 days and then just becomes a Russian asset. Whether or not Edward Snowden planned this or not really doesn't matter. He is being used as a Russian asset. It's a Russian and is the Russian advantage. Uh, and Vladimir Putin, of course, is smartly uh, using that advantage uh, to his own best selfish uh, interest. Again, Edward Snowden sleeping like a baby, according to Glenn Greenwald, moments before uh, the big leak rocked the world and arguably uh, the most significant story uh, in a hundred years, maybe in the history uh, of the United States of America. I'd like to hear what you think. I'm Christopher Green, hard hitting and in your face. Get this video out everywhere, make it viral, and click the link below to support our sponsor.